Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be cutting this rather large Canyon Rim Thunder Egg I collected up at the Polka Dot Agate Mine in Oregon. It's about 6 to 8 inches in diameter, which might be a bit big for my 10 inch saw. But this is the only saw I have, so I'm going to have to make it work. Well, seeing that St. Patrick's Day is coming up in a few days, I have a special St. Patrick's Day rock joke for this video. My wife is also insisting that I let you know it was her that found this joke, and she considers it the best one so far. So, why do people wear shamrocks on St. Patrick's Day? Because rocks are too heavy. Hmm. Well, at this point, I'm just going to agree that it's the best joke. I don't want to get in trouble with my wife. All right, well, I was able to get through it. Not too hard, had a couple of jam ups. But are you ready to see it? Well, I'm very happy with this one. It did turn out to be a geode. They do come sometimes in solid agate. So this time I got a geode. I think I did a fairly good job cutting. I did miss this little area here. But I can grind that down and make it look better. Alright, well I think I'll be taking these inside so I can get a better look at them. And then I'll also be able to use the UV light to see if they fluoresce at all. Well, now that we're inside, we can get a better look at these. I will be using this flashlight for better lighting. You know, I'm thinking this yellowy, white, crusty stuff is calcite, which should be the stuff that fluoresces slash phosphoresces. But I am impressed with the patterns in the agate and I do believe this green stuff is opal and if I'm wrong please leave me a comment all right well let's take a look at the other side bit of the same just in reverse And I think this bit is probably my favorite. Just some neat stuff going on in there. All right, well now let's try out the UV light. I do have one that I purchased on Amazon. It wasn't expensive or anything fancy, but it should do the job. I do also have this little guy. Yep. Definitely glowing green. It's on the other side. A little better. Well, I'm going to try hitting both sides using my little flashlight.
And it, once I turn off the lights, it'll look better, I assume. So let's go ahead and turn off the lights. Now let's go and see what it looks like when I turn off the UV lights. All right, well, I'm going to zoom in on this one and see how it looks closer up. And lights off. All right, let's uh, take a closer look at the other side. It does seem to glow a bit more. Ooh. Yeah, I think it does have a bit better glow. So the question I have is, I'm pretty sure that is phosphorescence. Not sure if this is both fluorescing and phosphorescing, or if it's just phosphorescing. Well, I was considering trying to clean the calcite off of one of the sides, uh, mainly just to see, uh, bring up that agate. But I think after seeing how neat the phosphorescent is, I think I will just leave them as they are for now. I might reconsider in the future, but I kind of like them the way they are. Well, and if you liked what you've seen, please hit that like button. And if you wish to, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any tips, tricks, or advice, please leave a comment. I would appreciate it.